guys. So coming to do a quick last minute video with a few tips I have for surviving the Christmas meal or any holiday meal for that matter. Again, I don't claim to have all the answers. I'm by no means a weight loss guru, but these are just a few things that have helped me handle the big eating days and I'm hoping they can be of some use to you. Okay, number one, make room. If you know, if you know you're going to have this big, big, big meal, if you know you're going to have this big Christmas meal or Thanksgiving meal, whatever the case may be, try to allot as many of your daily calories towards that meal. Now, even if you don't count calories, you should have some idea that it's going to be your biggest, most fattest meal for the day to try and make your earlier meals as light as possible. That means for breakfast, you don't need to have four pancakes and four slices of bacon and a whole bunch of syrup and butter and scrambled eggs with cheese. No, keep it as light as you can. Have some fruit, have one simple bowl of cereal, have the eggs minus the bacon, use less cheese. Try your best to not overwhelm yourself with all of these calories earlier in the day and then still pile them on at dinner. Okay, number two, know yourself. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. So you're gonna go, you're gonna grab this big old plate of food, you're gonna feel stuffed halfway through, but you're gonna keep shoveling it in nonetheless. That's not really necessary. Try your best to get a small portion of all of the goodies on your plate for the first round. If you really, really feel as though after you've had that, those small portions, you chatted for a little bit, if you still feel hungry, okay, go back and get your second helpings, but you'd be surprised that after chit-chatting and laughing and drinking and whatnot, you're genuinely not hungry after that first round. But if you have family where if you don't get your fill in before they go there, there won't be any leftovers for you, make your plate for later. But don't stuff all of your meal or all of what you're going to have out of the meal on your first plate. I know some people live in households where if you don't get yours, you're not going to get any. Make your plate and put it up, but don't eat it yet. Number three. Know your ratios. A half of your plate should be vegetables, a quarter should be meats or proteins, and another quarter should be your starches. Now, I don't expect anybody to live by that, necessarily. I don't think that you're going to um, have four slices of ham and a half a plate of lettuce and tomato. I don't get that, but try your best to get as close to those ratios as possible with those major food groups as you can. And y'all, baked mac and cheese is not a food group. No, it's, no, don't try and convince me. Baked mac and cheese is not a food group. Number four, earn it. If you know you're going to have this big honking meal, move. Have those extra calories that you have burnt throughout the day so you can eat them later. Get a quick walk in, play with the kids, walk the dog, run up and down the stairs, get some last minute shopping in, burn the calories so that you can eat them later. They'll be stored up and you actually be able to use them towards your meal. So you can have that extra slice of cake or you can have that extra slice of ham, whatever the case is, so you won't feel as guilty later on having the treats that you want. And lastly, this was a super quick video, number five, Walter. A lot of these meals are gonna be very salt heavy and you will see some rapid weight gain the day after or a couple days after due to Walter weight because of salt. You'll retain water due to your salt consumption, but you will only retain water if you haven't had enough water to flush your system accordingly. So drink as much water as you can. I know a lot of us out here are not big on water. Every chug that you take is a step towards the right direction. So have as much water as you can um, throughout tomorrow, Christmas Day, or any holiday, any big eating day, or in general, have as much water as you can help your body rid itself of all of that salt, and it's, it's better for you overall. It's better for your skin, it's better for your organs, it's better for weight loss. All right, that was my super quick five tips for surviving your meal. I'm gonna try and upload this. Before I go on the road, I still have to go to the grocery store. I don't wanna to have to fight no old lady for the last of the charities. Uh, mm, Lord, somebody say a prayer for me. With that being said, guys, enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy time with family. Enjoy time with loved ones. Enjoy time with loved ones who are kind of like family. And if I don't put up another video by then, have a happy and prosperous new year. Bye.